This is a tutorial on how to use the DMSS app to control your IP cameras. Okay, so first of all, you'll need to click on the DMSS app icon, which is this blue eye effectively inside um, a white square. So from inside here, you're simply going to click on uh, your MVR, which will be named uh, just here. This is our test site, so you'll see it says Warwickshire Alarms, and you've got this little white play button on the right hand side. You simply click on that, and that will load up all your cameras. Uh, today though, I'm just going to hit live so I can go straight to um, a camera quickly for you, um, and show you how to access prehistoric events so let's say for instance something has happened on this camera and you want to access uh, what's happened currently what you're looking at is a live screen so it's uh, nearly eight o'clock um, in the evening and um, you see it's not very busy however we're going to look at a prehistoric time so to do that you'll notice in the middle of the screen we've got a group of icons we've got a what looks like a tape reel on the left hand side a camera icon next to it a microphone icon a video camera icon and then a square with a little x in it uh, for now we're just going to press on the uh, little icon which looks like a tape reel so just this one here and there you go. What's happening now is it's taking us to the beginning of today. So we're now at 12 o'clock at night, um, so therefore the beginning of the day. However, we want to look at a previous time. So we're going to go back to, you, you'll see in the middle it says the 16th uh, and the year and the month. Um, we're going to go back in time. We're going to go back to the 12th and look if anything was going on there. Um, so to do that, that little box in the middle where we see the date, we're just going to touch that. And that's going to take us to all available recordings that we have. Um, it's easy to tell if you've got a recording. Wherever you see a blue dot or that little tape reel icon, those days are days where we've got recordings currently. So let's go to the 12th. Uh, to do that, we're just going to touch the number 12. And then we're going to touch OK at the bottom of the screen. That's now going to load the beginning of the 12th. As you can see, it was a lot drier that night. What we're going to do now is we're going to scroll through the night, see if we can find anything interesting. So we'll have a go uh, to 1 o'clock, see if anything happened. Nope, it was a little bit wet. <laughs> okay, but just to give you an example, let's say, for instance, there was something happening there and we wanted to take a recording of that happening. Uh, we've got two options, well, three in total, but two simple ones. And uh, we've got this camera icon in the middle of the screen. We've got a video icon in the middle of the screen and a pair of scissors. Uh, for now, we're going to take a screenshot of what's happening on that camera. So we're at one o'clock in the morning on the 12th uh, of August. But all we're going to do is take a screenshot of that by pressing the camera icon on the far left in the middle of the screen. There you go. It's just taken a screenshot of that at high resolution and it saved it into the DMS app. I'll show you where that recording is in just a moment. But for now, we've decided a screenshot's not enough. Um, we think the police might benefit from having a full-on recording of whatever's been happening. So to do that, we can press the video recorder icon, which is uh, one in from the camera on the left-hand side. We're going to touch that and it's going to turn blue. It's now started recording what's happening on the screen. So as long as we leave it playing, um, it's going to start to record whatever we're watching. So there you go. Um, I've just pressed the stop recording button again. Um, you can either do that by pressing uh, the play button uh, or the, the camera icon. Um, you'll see the camera and the play just above it. Uh, so that stopped that recording for me. Again, that's been saved to the device and I'll show you where that is in just a moment. However, there is one other way that we can start to take a recording. Say for instance, the recording you want is quite sizable and you've already scrolled through this bottom bar here and looked at all the event and you know exactly how long the event you want to recording took place for. You can press, so you can queue up the camera or the, the film reel at the bottom to the time at which you believe the event started. So let's go to two o'clock. 
let it uh, transfer itself you'll see that little loading icon in the screen press the scissors and then press the play button then you see notice in the blue line this little red lines appeared that's going to be the start of our recording now let's say for instance the event that we're interested in went on for five minutes so i'm just going to scroll the the blue bar along until i've got 205 there you go that'll do that's close enough and i'm now going to press the stop button You'll notice here it's now saying it's going to take a clipped recording of our of our interested area. If you look just below it, you'll see in the blue bar we've got two red lines. That's where it started to take the recording and where it's going to stop taking the recording once I press OK, which I've just done. It's now downloading that footage into my mobile phone so that I can easily share that with the police uh, or an insurer, say for instance if they wanted evidence. Uh, or just in case you want something it might be something hilarious happens on your cameras and you want to keep a memory of it for the rest of your life it doesn't all have to be negative so to now access those files all we're going to do is on the top left hand side of the uh, camera on the on the app you'll notice this little back arrow just press that and then it will take you back to the main screen so we're now back on the live camera screen to access our recordings, we just press the house icon on the top left. And we see this top line here that I'm just moving. You just scroll that across to the left hand side to reveal the file icon. Click on that. And that will now show us, so if you look at the top of the page, we've got two, two main tabs, video and image. The video is the video that we just chopped. So do you remember when we just said that we're going to save it? Um, that's the video that we've just taken just there. And that's just playing. And I'm just going to stop that because we're not interested in that for now. The uh, On the right hand side, you've got this image section just here. That's going to be the screenshot that we took when we press just the camera icon. So that's how you access your images once you've taken them and once you've saved them in there now say for instance you want to share them with the police or with insurers or just save them to your device all you've got to do uh, is from this tab in the top right hand side of the screen you'll see there's a square with a little pen inside it just click on that which now allows you to select the content you'd like to share you can then simply select that image you'll see a tick just appeared I just touched the the box it's in and it's put a little tick on it and on the bottom of the screen you'll see the three dots with lines between them that allows you to share it to someone so should you want to text it email it uh, airdrop it um, no matter how you want to share it you can do you just click on that icon then choose the person you'd like to share it with or you can select email and email it through to the police uh, the little save disk in the bottom, uh, the little floppy disk, uh, if you click on that, it allows you to save that into your actual mobile phone. So rather than it being inside the app, it will then appear inside your photo gallery. Or you can do what I'm going to do, which is delete it. Um, say for instance, you don't need that CCTV anymore. You can just press delete and it will then remove it from the app. Again, with the image, exactly the same. You can choose the select button in the top right select the image you want and I'm going to delete it again but again those uh, icons at the bottom will allow you to share it or save it but I'm just going to delete it for now as I don't need it there you go that is how you use the DMMS app uh, there will be more video tutorials coming soon but for now that's the key thing you need to be able to know to do thank you very much